Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How was your day today? I hope you're doing well. Hope everything in your world is going strong. Today, today here. And um, I got I got more stuff in the mail and I opened the well, I didn't open this. I let my kid open this cuz she was like wanting to know what was inside of it. And then we'll talk about this in a second because what this what this led me into was the realization that I have unconsciously taken a up a a plan in my in this area of the, my life in the in the wood shop area uh, I've unconsciously subconsciously adapted a plan that I've used in my everyday life for a very long time and I th I believe we've talked about it on the show uh, maybe I haven't talked about it here so I'm gonna take the time to talk about it right now and that is how I deal with procrastination I am like the king of procrastination I can put stuff off forever uh, and if you're a procrastinator you know you probably know the feeling of you know you're supposed to do something you know you're supposed to get it done but that doesn't help you get it done that doesn't that doesn't feed your desire to actually complete the task and you know that you're disappointing people by putting the task off you know that goals aren't being met but that doesn't help you what helps you is a deadline. And so once you hit the deadline, you just do it and it gets done and you do it well. That's me, right? My whole life is done that way. And uh, I know I've talked about it on my blog in the past, uh, which by the way, I need to do something with ChevyDodd.com. It just, it's been sitting idle for a while because I haven't had anything to post there since doing this. So I need to think about that website or maybe just stop paying for it. Um, but I've, I've talked about this procrastination strategy in the past, and that is to always have too much to do. And it's a way that I, I trick myself into getting stuff done is by having just way too much stuff to do. Essentially, almost pretending like I have too much stuff to do. Because a lot of the stuff that I trick myself into thinking I have to do is not really that important. So in the past, people would, you know, when I was hyper hyperactively designing board games all the time, card games like every other day, people were like, I don't know how you get so much done because I was doing it all and I was doing a job and kids and all this stuff. And it was like, I just, I put all this stuff on my plate that I can't finish. And so that means if I get, you know, 15% of it done, I look like I've been extremely productive. But in reality, in my mind, and maybe I have been. Maybe I have been productive. Maybe that 15% is like way above what a normal person would accomplish. But in my mind, I've been extremely unproductive because I didn't complete the other 85%. I had to just do math. <laughs> um, so and I realized I've been taking that on in here and I didn't mean to. But if it's the way that I get stuff done, then it's the way that I get stuff done. And by that, I mean, I have the sign, the 3D printed nameplate thing still sitting there it needs to be finished I have the drawers that I want to build I have the leather project I need to do I have artwork I need to frame I have um, a bed I need to finish I have this thing to get rid of I have a cart to build for that I have a new box to build for that I have more of these things like I have all of these projects I have a cajon that I want to build uh, I, just crazy amounts of stuff and it just piles up and what that means is I always have something to do when I come down here. I, and I come down here, it's never like, oh, what am I going to do? Um, but it's a lot of times it is because it's like I don't, I don't really want to work on that right now. Or I need a you know $5 thing that I don't have for that. But um, so this, this came in. This is, uh, this is extremely special tape. It's like 20 bucks for a roll of this stuff. This is called linen hinging tape. It's essentially a f f f uh, linen tape. And I don't know why it's called hinging tape specifically, but this is self-adhesive um, tape. I mean, if I was going for like a super professional, I would have got the gummed, whatever. This essentially is acid-free uh, tape. It's made out of linen. It's it, it feels like sheets. And this is used for framing artwork that you don't want to mat. So the artwork that I have, I don't want to put on, in a mat because some of that, or one of those pieces, goes all the way to the edge. And so I want to display that entire piece. 
So using linen hinging tape is a good way to do that because it allows you to basically make a folded piece of tape that holds your artwork and then you can, you know, I could actually tape the artwork to a, uh, to a mat. So say this is the tape, I would just fold it. So this part stuck to the mat, this part stuck to the artwork and then frame it. Okay, so the whole piece is shown and the linen hinging tape can be removed if ever needs to be uh, without damaging the artwork. It's also acid free, so it's not going to discolor the artwork. It's this is this is expensive because it's archival quality. Uh, I think it says that on here somewhere. Yeah, ar archive quality, big seal. So um, that's a project I need to do. I need to make frames for this artwork. I need to hinge it. I need to hang it. And uh, so that just goes in the stack of things that Chevy needs to get done. And, uh, you know, we'll get to it. I think that goes along with what we talked about yesterday where I had the idea of let me build that for you. You guys just give me ideas and I build it. That gives me something to do also. That, that's another, like, procrastination tool. And uh, right as I was setting up the camera, I totally it works five minutes into this, six minutes into this, I just now remembered that I had a thing I wanted to tell you. I, I came up with a term for it, and I don't know if this is a real term, and I didn't Google it because I came up with this as I was setting up the camera. I'm going to call it active procrastination. I actively procrastinate. Um, and what I mean by that is not that I'm attempting to procrastinate <laughs> because I don't like procrastinating. Uh, it's just something that it's a cycle that I fall into, but I'm actively procrastinating because I'm taking on more than I can handle, which means that I can procrastinate on some things by doing other things. And so stuff gets done. So yeah, active procrastination. I think I'll title the video that doesn't mean anything to anybody else that I know of. Maybe it does. I don't know. Yeah, that's it. That's it for the ramble today. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Um, let me know. Saturday, this weekend, I'm not going to be able to do a live stream. We have soccer tournaments like all weekend, literally. So I think I'm probably going to be staying out of town Saturday night and stuff. So no live stream, but I am definitely going to be working on one of these mini projects uh, this weekend at some point. So let me know in the comments if, if any of my projects that I've started or talked to you about uh, are more interesting to you than any of the other ones. And maybe that'll give me a, a kind of a guide to steer towards and I'll, I'll start on that. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. Today's random fact comes from Wikipedia. What causes a star to become a supernova? Very massive stars can undergo core collapse when nuclear fusion suddenly becomes unable to sustain this core against its own gravity. This is the cause of all types of supernova, except Ea. I don't know what that is. The collapse may cause violent expulsion of the outer layers of star resulting in a supernova. Uh, also, Supernova is a, a pretty good movie.